When you buy a used car from some guy on Craigslist, the old adage, buyer beware, comes to mind. The rules for buying a home in California are different. Sellers are required by law to tell buyers certain things about the property for sale. These are known as property disclosures. Some disclosures are routine, like the potential for lead-based paint in buildings constructed before 1978, and these come in a pre-printed booklet. For others, we use a form called the Real Estate Transfer Disclosure Statement that the seller completes. Hi, my name is Jason Allen Roman, and I'm a real estate agent in Palm Springs, California. Listen, I've seen sellers get panicky when I tell them they have to disclose information about their home. But I remind them of two things. First, the Real Estate Transfer Disclosure Statement is very specific and focuses on things like what's included in the sale and then other facts that only the seller would know about the property. Second, this isn't a questionnaire to find out what the seller doesn't like about the home. So what sorts of questions does the form ask? Things like what appliances are included? Are there modifications to the property? Or has there been major damage from fire, earthquakes, floods, or landslides? These are all questions with objective answers that a seller should be able to fill out. And from my 10 years of experience, this information helps buyers make deals that stick. Think about it. Almost all buyers get a property inspection once their offer is accepted. If they discover something the seller should have disclosed, there's suddenly a credibility problem that can jeopardize the deal. If the buyer discovers something that the seller should have disclosed prior to the close of escrow, then we've got a problem that nobody wants. If you're at all confused about the California Real Estate Transfer Disclosure Statement, be sure to ask your agent before you start to fill it out. If you don't have an agent, shoot me a message. I'll do my best to help you or give you a referral. One quick note, real estate agents also have legal disclosures that they need to give to consumers, but I'll cover that in another video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.